today I'm gonna do another unboxing of the scroller box from June. And again, I have no idea what is in here. It feels heavier. I just, just, I'm excited. And if you're interested in this subscription service, then I'm gonna leave the link to the website down below. If you're a creative person, if you like to draw and you like to be surprised, then this is definitely something you can give a go. Oh my God, is this? Oh no, I'm just gonna pick whatever I see. So first, ooh. This is the featured artist. This looks completely different to last month's featured artist. It looks super good. <gasps> is it a sketchbook? Yes! It's a sketchbook. I, yes. I just finished my last sketchbook and I was just thinking about getting a new one just in this size because I love these soft covers. I hope it's mixed media. It's 140 grams, so that should be good. And I love the color, bright and blue. Perfect. Like this is literally just what I needed. Thank you so so much. And thingy here, which explains a ton more than me rambling about it. But you know what? I'm still gonna ramble because that's way cooler. So first, it's this dry marker. It's a color pencil in blue. So I guess they're neon colors, which I've never used before. So I'm excited to try this out. Yes. And then next I have some markers. Or are these highlighters? Yes, highlighters. Okay, I've never I don't know this brand. It's the M Lighter Fluorescent Pens. Definitely don't use highlighters for my art. Like never. So trying out these will be a challenge. So far I like the colors. I like the blue and the purple. But yeah going to be interesting. Oh, and there's also a bright pink. There's the Stabilo Point Max. Okay, I have one of these already because, like I said before, Stabilo is a brand that I use pretty much since ever. So I, I'm pretty familiar with the brand. Nice. I probably shouldn't use my hand for this, but who cares? And yeah, this is another brush pen. And like I said before, bye. <laughs> I've been getting into calligraphy, so this is going to be great. This kit contains a black fine liner, blue ball ballpoint pen, highlighter in neon yellow, and a mechanical pencil. A complete office sketching kit in its own case. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, yes, this is the one that I've already owned, or I think I've lost it. I haven't seen it in a while, but yeah, it's great. Like, see, I have a whole set of these because they're just very nice to use, especially in like a budo or in like journaling, but I've never really drawn with it. So that would be a first. Yeah, Bulba pen and another highlighter, which I like how small this is. I don't like it if a highlighters are these big bulky things and they don't fit in any case because you have to take them with to the school. Now I have four different colors of markers and I've never used markers to draw. So this will be a challenge. And the challenge for this month is workspace height. I'm up for the challenge, so let's go. So I first wanted to sketch something out from the challenge, which is workspace highlight. But I, I didn't really know what that meant. So I then moved over to inspired by the colors to go with a 90s style. I'm not quite sure if I hit the 90s right. I looked up some pictures, some fashion, just some like stuff from the 90s. And yeah, I normally don't draw fashion figures, so I don't really know if I drew her right or if that's an actual 90s thing. Just something inspired. So high-waisted shorts and a graphic tee and I added some like graphic patterns and I don't really know. <laughs> like there are very weird patterns in the 90s. Kind of crazy, but yeah. And really don't look at the anatomy of this because the hand doesn't really look like a hand, but I wanted to have something simple to sketch out and to use the materials with. So. That's how I did it. Outlining with a bullpen pen, then with an actual pen, so that's why I did it first. Just to get a little bit of a more of a feel of what it is. The pens are really nice to use, they have a good grip because they're triangles, so if you like journaling, like I said before, and I think this is a very good set to start with. And then I went in with the highlighters, and I went with more of a graphic, rough style, like not fine art or anything, which I do want to get more into, and like graphics and just bold color so this was right up my alley it was something different and something that I don't usually do but like I said before I like to be challenged and so this was definitely something different and I like how basic it is like these are not expensive or anything so everybody can do it in their own way and style there's no right or wrong way 
and you can find your way so i like that and then in the background i added these i'm not quite sure how to say these like expressions or something like i just saw them when i typed in 90s and like i love how they just just jump by you and i don't really know how to say it but like the pow and the da and just i think these graphics are coming back slowly but surely some graphics are weird just what what are they but i love these just like comic style graphic style art so i added some of these and so that's pretty much it i hope you like this little drawing and sketching it's super easy and super fun and i really love the scroller box like it's so creative and just again i can highly recommend it so i hope you like this and thank you so much so much for watching and i will see you soon so goodbye